it is guys, it's your boy Blast from Sage D and I, when I saw this video in my subscriber feed, I knew that I wanted to watch it and I wanted to watch it the first time with y'all. Dude, Mortal Kombat was my favorite fucking movie as a child. You guys don't understand how big of a fucking deal this movie was for me. I ate, slept, and breathed Mortal Kombat of a child. I still remember when, when Mortal Kombat 3 came out, an arcade version, I damn near started stabbing people for quarters to be able to play the shit. I loved that game. So when the movie came out, it blew my fucking mind and I loved every bit of it with every fiber of my damn being. No one can never take that away from me because nowadays everyone's telling me how shitty the movie is and how awful it was. Fuck all y'all, okay? That movie touched me in a special... Bruh, when this movie first came out, I was living in the projects of Cleveland and Ohio, the same projects that I got jumped on Christmas Day. <laughs> If you guys want to hear that story, I'll leave the link in the description down below. It is way more fucked up than I make it sound. I got fucked up by other project kids on Christmas morning, and they stole my, and they fucked my Christmas gifts up. It was terrifying, right? I was so hyped to see this movie. We couldn't afford to go see it in the movie theaters. I remember coming home one day after school, man, and I don't know if I had gotten a really good report card lately or something, but my mom was just like, I was telling my mom how much I loved and wanted to see the movie, and my mom was like, yo, what's the situation? You, you know what, I'm gonna order it on pay-per-view. Like, she ordered it on pay-per-view, it was like $4 or some shit, but it was the biggest, nigga, I, made, I got hot Cheetos, man, I got juice, I fucking set, I, I, oh my god, it was the best movie experience of my goddamn life, and I have not seen the movie in legit, like, what, 15 years or something? Me and the homies, we were watching Mortal Kombat Annihilation a couple of days ago, and I was noticing all these things as a goddamn adult that I didn't notice as a fucking kid, like how corny and unrealistic a lot of this shit looked and how bad the CGI was. <laughs> but that was Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I even noticed that they used some of the same scenes of, of enemies falling down for like different fight scenes. I was like, oh my god, no! But yo, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna watch Mortal Kombat Annihilation uh, uh, over again. And I'm, 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 no, I'm gonna watch Mortal Kombat, the first Mortal Kombat again, and I might like do a reaction of it, and if I do, I'm gonna put it on my second channel. You know, like it'll be long as fuck. And I don't know anyone who <laughs> sit down and watch that shit. But that's why I would put it on my other fucking channel, yo. I might make, I might make it into parts. I'm gonna make it into parts. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all will fuck with that. I'm gonna make it into parts. You know, but I gotta be real careful because copyright shit. But yo. If you guys want to watch this original video, I suggest you guys go and watch the entire thing for honest trailers. Uh, well, on uh, Screen Junkies. So make sure you go check that out over there. Watch a lot of their other uh, uh, vi like vids and shit. They're all fucking hilarious. Lego. Let's. I, I'm so excited. Because I know they're going to point out a lot of fuck shit about the movie that makes it look awful, but... I, I still love this movie. It's one of my favorite movies from my childhood. That's, I have so much emotional attachment to it. I've been a gamer f since I could fucking form words, man. Before Assassin's Creed tries to shake off the stink of all the video game movies that came before. And I'm going to kick that son of a bitch Bison's asshole. God, geez, Street Fighter was such a terrifyingly awful movie, man. I was so excited to see this movie too, and I saw this movie on pay-per-view when I was a kid too. It was so shitty, so shitty. Double Dragons, I liked Double Dragon as a kid. I love that fucking, I love that movie. Two films would challenge the rule that game adaptations suck and more or less confirm it. I forgot, we're fighting for the fate of the world. Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation. No! 
you remember Mortal Kombat for its pixelated <laughs> ultraviolence. Now, get ready for two PG-13 movies that could really use a blood code, as they never deliver on the franchise's gory gimmick. But boy, do they manage to cram in everything else. It's my animality. Finish him. Fatality. <laughs> Wait, that's not from the game? Then what the hell was that then? Not in the game. Enter the ultimate high stakes fight club, where the fate of the world is decided by who- Is that Dave Chappelle? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, why that dude look like Dave Chappelle? Why does this guy look like Dave Chappelle, the one sitting next to Johnny Cage? <laughs> decided by who can beat the most ass. But these no holds barred brawls have only one rule. There are actually a fair amount of rules. The rules aren't quite clear. To enter the realm of Earth, Shang Tsung have to win ten straight victories in Mortal Kombat. Your sacred rules have been broken. The rules say the Earth is safe for another generation. Obviously, Khan has cheated and broken the rules. Yeah, follow the rules, you guys. And also, if I put a quarter up on the machine, it means I got next, okay? Mia Sprawl. Oh, I just got what he said. That's so fucking true, bro. Like, if you were, if you used to go to a lot of arcades, as, like I did as a kid, you know, you go in there, the way you would get your uh, your turn next is you would put your quarter up on the screen and put it, like, right next to the bottom, you know? And so whoever got their quarter was next, then they would be the next player. Yeah, you know I mean? And if you tried to cut somebody, you'd basically just get beaten the fuck up, and they tip over the arcade machine onto you, kill, squashing you to death, basically. Cast made up of fighters who can't act. Khan wants you to go after her. Don't. Actors who can't fight. <laughs> Sorry. And people who can't really do either. Mother, you're alive. Too bad, you. Fuck, I hate to admit it, but it was some of the cringiest acting ever. Today, you will die. Was that good? I nailed that one, right? I feel like they had like a lazy ass director or some shit. They didn't have a big budget because I feel like a lot of these scenes they could have like reshot, but they just didn't want to reshoot them, so they just left the shitty counterparts in. We'll die. As you meet the heroes, then meet them all again when they're recast in the sequel. Raiden, it's a new look. There's Liu Kang, the boring monk whose luscious mullet is the most interesting part of his character. Johnny Cage, the only one with any charisma. Oh man. <laughs> Sonya Blade who's here to snap necks and be objectified. And she's all out of necks to snap. <laughs> Why would they do that to her? No! <laughs> she's all out of necks to snap. Nice dress. Kitana, a 10,000 year old master of the seductive looking flute. That has to be Princess Kitana. That is so goddamn true. Every time this bitch got on screen, they play the flute. I I even knew that as a kid. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is this flute coming from? Shit, it's someone in the background with instruments again. Damn, who let a jazz band on, on set? Shit! That is so real. So real. When a woman looks at you like that, it usually means something. Raiden, god of exposition, all the lazy color swapped ninjas, all the lazy color swapped robots, and some animators bad CGI demon fetish. That is so fucking true. God, Jesus. So true. So true. You know, these actually look pretty good for a Sega Genesis game. Oh. But who cares about plot or character? This movie is all about the action, and these movies have some of that. Feast your eyes on over a dozen choppily edited generic martial arts battles against wave after wave of faceless karate goons and a claymation finale that will have you saying, this is hilarious. I can't believe someone actually made this, watched it, and then still released it. <laughs> so if you love the Mortal Kombat games for their stories and don't like actually playing them, watch actors put on Halloween costumes of your favorite characters, then act out the windscreen. After defeating Mighty Goro and putting it into Shang Tsung's rule over the tournament. Kang is able to return the contest right for owners. So the first two games, but there's still one thing in these movies that the games could never match. The most epic theme song ever. That is, oh yes. And they are. Oh yes, dude, as a kid, I, I had no money. So I used to go into a, uh, 
into Kmart's. Because we didn't have Walmart's in Cleveland, Ohio. We had Kmart's, which just goes to show you how shitty of a place Cleveland is. <laughs> so I would go into fucking uh, Wal uh, uh, Kmart's and I would, I would steal the, uh, the blank tapes <laughs> and I would go and put them in the fucking boom box that they would leave on display and they would let you listen to music and I would play, I would then go steal the goddamn Mortal Kombat Annihilation of Mortal Kombat 1 fucking uh, soundtrack tape, stick it in the other side, play that, record it on the blank tape, steal the blank tape and have music. That's how I used to make my mixtapes, yo. I was poor as fuck, yo. I was so poor. I'm not gonna let you forget it. Mortal trailers! <laughs> I love that goddamn trailer. I love that fucking song though, man. I used to I still love that fucking I'ma listen to that shit after this. I'ma listen to the whole fucking song. Woohoo! Who wants to fight? Or at least play some laser tag or something, yo! I'm psyched! Starring Oh Veronica Vaughn, so hot. Want to touch the hiney. Mullet comeback. The Skylander. Oh, oh no! Cock Punch and Johnny. No! Frigid Air. Pawns are deadly. Knees weak, arms is heavy. Only, only, only. One oi, oi, oi. Dr. Quatropus. Down back low kick. Back back low punch. Hold down high punch. <laughs> and Shang Tsung standing up. <laughs> That's so true. That's so fucking god damn it. That is so true. Exit the dragon. Uh, you know she's 10,000 years old, right? Way to pull a reverse twilight. I'd still tap that, though. That's so true. I'd 100% smash. I'd smash that. Booty? Smash. I'd... Yeah. 100%. Bruh, I, I still want to see the original and Annihilation all over again, yo. I've got to fucking do that, man. I This movie meant so much to me in my goddamn childhood, yo. It really fucking did, man. I remember other movies that had fantastic fucking uh, uh, soundtracks to them that I used to steal from Kmart <laughs> and and then, and then make mixtapes out of um, Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow with some guy named Slater, some shit. I don't forgot his name. John Travolta. You know, he was in that, that movie, the soundtrack was, that shit was fucking awesome. Bruh, that sh bruh, that shit make me feel old as fuck. Even though I'm not really, honestly, that old. Yeah, man, dude, this video was, this fucking hilarious, man. God, I, I fucking love Screen Junkies. I really fucking do, man. I'm glad that they make these fucking honest trailers and shit. But yo, uh, if you guys want to watch the original video, the link is in the description down below. It leads to Screen Junkies channel. Make sure to go check them out, subscribe, go watch, you know, off of their other honest trailers and shit. Yeah, man. Fucking, here's to my childhood, yo. You know another fucking movie that no one remembers? No one remembers? Fucking Camp Nowhere. Bruh, that shit. Oh, my God. That movie. Oh, that movie was my shit, man. That movie, and the reason why I like that movie so much is because that movie was basically the definition of what summer was supposed to be for me. Another movie that I defined the shit out of my childhood. I did two more movies because they both came out the same time. Space Jam. I mean, no one can fucking say anything bad about Space Jam. And the next one was Power Rangers. The fucking, po the first Power Rangers movie. Nigga, I can't help it. I, I used to, I loved the fuck out of that goddamn movie. We went to see that shit in the movie theaters. I went and saw that. And fucking Power Rangers Turbo. Bruh, that shit was, oh my god. I was on that shit like white on Michael Jackson, bro. Like, it, like the beginning scene of them skydiving. I replayed that shit so fucking much. Like, it used to make me feel like I was skydiving. Except without uh, uh, death or paralyzing fear of skydiving. Because I have that. I, I, I never do it in real life. But yeah, man. You know, those are a couple of movies. I, I used to, I just loved them so fucking much as uh, when I was a kid. I used to like, I had a VCR and I used to like tape them 
whenever they whenever it shit came on cable. But uh, but yeah, man, just want to blast from stage D. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Uh, Twisms. Flop, 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 flop. Peep, peep. <laughs> Ha 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 